why is this an aspect of self-caring? Why should we care about enjoying life? Why does it matter to think about enjoying life as something more than, you know, just taking a casual pleasure and smelling the roses as we walk on by? Well, enjoying uh, life and enjoyable experiences have a number of benefits. All right. For one, of course, they give us a sense that, you know, this life is worth living. Um, if it weren't enjoyable, uh, it would be tough to feel motivated, obviously, to keep on going, or at least you'd have to find other motivations. But certainly the enjoyments in life um, give a richness and a perspective and um, a fullness, a deliciousness, uh, if you will, uh, to the life that we have. In addition to the sort of obvious hedonic, and you could say also eudaimonic pleasures or rewards of enjoying life, enjoyment helps us recover from stress or emotional upset. You know, if I'm uh, upset about something or bothered by it, um, there's a natural trajectory in which in the beginning I, I simply try to be with what's there and experience the experience, feel the feelings, ideally sensing down to what's deeper and more fundamental, perhaps softer, more vulnerable, even younger, under the surface. But at some point, it starts to feel appropriate to come out of the stressful, upsetting experience and kind of come down, if you will, to a softer landing. And um, one of the best ways to do that, and as we'll see in future pillars in this program, uh, ways that have been endowed uh, into us by Mother Nature and evolution, one of the best ways to come out of an upsetting experience or a stressful experience is to turn toward what is authentically enjoyable. Yes, there might well be these other things that are stressful and challenging and difficult, those particular tiles in the overall mosaic of reality. But amidst those tiles are other tiles, including those things that we can take pleasure in or delight in or have interest in. In other words, those things that could be enjoyable. Enjoyable experiences, even when we're not recovering from something that's been difficult, calm and nourish the body and actually strengthen the immune system, for example, and help regulate our hormonal balances, as studies do show. Um, enjoyable experiences also create a sense of reward for that which is wholesome or that which we want to incline our minds toward. For example, enjoying the experience of during a workout or after a workout can help motivate a person, such as myself, to actually get out there and do that stressful or not so much stressful, but, you know, tiring, uh, effortful, sometimes painful aspects of doing a workout. Uh, more broadly, uh, turning toward the enjoyments of learning uh, how to be more skillful with other people or turning toward the enjoyments that are available in learning how to let go more, for example, or turning toward the enjoyments that are available in open, spacious, peaceful, mindful awareness. Those uh, internalizations or those experiences of what's enjoyable in those key experiences inclines the mind and therefore the brain increasingly in that direction. And then last, as we'll see in this um, section of the self-caring pillar of uh, well-being, uh, enjoyable experiences or the enjoyableness of an experience is a kind of clue, aha, that this particular experience could well be a means to the end or a basis for growing some important inner strength inside. 